This is, this is her teeth of her left side and her top teeth here and her bottom teeth. This is her jaw. This is a CAT scan. This is the right side of her mouth. And as you can see, this is coming up underneath on the right side. See how it's coming up underneath? We're not going to be able to take the entire thing. So what we're going to do today is we're going to take several spots of the biopsy. Three, three of them. From three different locations, some from the inside of the mouth. So that shall be, a, so we'll go inside kind of through here, get some samples there. We'll also open up the chin area and get some samples here. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll there's some of those samples and we're going to send that off for histopathology. And what they're going to do there is they're going to, one, see if anything grows. So they'll take part of the sample to see if anything grows as far as like bacteria, things like that. And then they'll also look at the parts of the bone and what we're sending out. Based on what we find after the biopsies and everything today, we'll determine how we would progress with treatment. What, like basically what is yeah, the next step? what is step? the next step? So we can't take out half of her bottom jaw without completely affecting her quality of life. So ideally, we're going to try and minimize what we can today, get the samples, send that out. Here we are at Coral Springs Animal Hospital picking up Natalia after she had surgery yesterday on her mouth. And this is what she looks like. This is the day after her surgery. Uh, my name is Aluta Kumbo, a Davis Sui. Uh, I worked with Natalia yesterday during the dental procedure. Um, yesterday, as we mentioned, when we called you, we were going to remove that uh, lower right quadrant on Natalia's mouth due to the fact that the teeth were in essence floating, you know, just the gum was holding them in. So uh, we had to remove them because at that point they become non-vital and more of an infection site than anything. So How bad was it in your mouth when you opened it up? Um, very bad as far as like uh, nothing we've seen commonly, so you know, this is a very rare case. Uh, in this instance, this is basically what we found and what we did on, on the tire's mouth. Um, those red regions that you see there is where all the uh, inflammation and basically uh, bone loss was So occurring. the inflammation was on both sides? In this in instance, jaw. it was like the tissue, which was normally should be soft and pliable where you go into it. It, it was, was hard like a rock. We days. also did two incisions on the uh, outer jaw part, and we will. Um, we took some samples for that as well. It still take about 10 to 14 okay. days. Because again, this is not a normal case, so I don't want to treat it normally. Did you look at her this morning? Ah, yeah. How is she alert? I mean, she Energy is there, almost like, I know, I know. Anesthesia was good. So uh, everything went well in that regard. So she was up and moving yesterday.